Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gigabyte Motherboard and Bricks channel. My name is Jonathan and today I'm going to introduce to you uh, a new protocol which is uh, Thunderbolt 3. For you that are not familiar what is Thunderbolt, uh, this is actually a protocol that has been around for about five years now. Uh, we are now to the uh, third iteration of its uh, technology and the technology is provided by Intel. So right now what we offer actually on our latest lineup of motherboards is Thunderbolt 3 which is powered by the Alpine Ridge controller. Uh, what Thunderbolt does is actually can transfer both data and also video signal over the same wire. Uh, over the previous generation, we've seen Thunderbolt using a display port or display uh, wire for uh, transferring its, uh, its, its data. But actually, uh, for the latest generation, what we're seeing is actually uh, USB Type-C, which if you guys are not too familiar with this, uh, this is what it looks like over here. So we have, uh, this USB Type-C is quite very small, and it's also reversible, so it's much easier to be able to connect it around to your uh, devices. Uh, you guys are very, I'm sure, very familiar with the uh, standard A connector, where actually every time you will come around to your computer to try to plug it in, it will be in the wrong direction, you have to go around and plug it again. This frustration is out of the window. Thank you, USB Type-C. Thank you very much. So what Thunderbolt 3 and uh, the Alpine Ridge controller can bring to you is actually uh, many different features. Uh, first, it's a, it's a data transfer protocol. So you can transfer data up to uh, speed to 32 gigabit per second, as the Alpine Ridge controller is connected to PCIe Gen 3 by 4. Uh, previous generation used to be uh, 10 gigabit per second, so we're seeing actually a much higher increase in, in, in speeds at this moment. Uh, also, uh, what can do, uh, what Thunderbolt uh, can do is also display uh, display ports, so uh, video purposes. So if you have uh, uh, 4K monitors uh, that uses a display port, this, well, that uses a Type C port for now Thunderbolt 3, it, it can also be used for this purpose. So uh, the one great advantage about Thunderbolt 3 is actually it can be uh, used for daisy chaining devices. So if you have uh, your computer storage devices, many, many of them, and then at the end, uh, your uh, monitor, you can have all this in, on a single wire. So you're able to eliminate some of the clutter around your, your desktop, and you know, that can be very actually useful around offices to keep everything clean and clear. Uh, another advantage of USB, of uh, the uh, Thunderbolt 3, is actually it supports USB uh, 3.1 protocol, which is the latest generation of USB. Now, USB 3.1 goes up to 10 gigabit per second and is available over the uh, standard A, USB A uh, port and also the USB Type-C. So just to give you a quick difference between the two of them, as we can see over here on the gaming G1, we have the standard A connector in red and we have the Type-C over here, which is the small port that we've looked at earlier. Both of them will, will offer the same, the same great transfer speed of 10 gigabit per second. And as they are powered by the uh, Intel Thunderbolt 3 Alpine Ridge controller, these devices have plenty of overhead bandwidth to be able to perform at their best. So transferring data between those uh, devices that support this will be uh, blazing fast. Now, uh, we have one more advantage for this uh, Thunderbolt 3 is also support power delivery. So uh, power delivery 2.0 profile. That means actually on our motherboards, that means you can get up to 36 watt of power through connecting devices over the Type-C uh, connector. So if you are having like, you know, your phone or even a monitor, you can actually uh, power your monitor or charge your phone very quickly. Now that we have briefly introduced the uh, Thunderbolt 3 protocol, we're going to give you a quick introduction actually of the uh, devices that uh, are available with this uh, technology. So from our end at Gigabyte, actually we're offering a few motherboards that are supporting Thunderbolt 3. We have over here the Z170X UD5TH, which TH stands for Thunderbolt. Uh, so you know by fact it does support it. As we can see in the back of the box over here, actually uh, we have a quick introduction of the, uh, the Thunderbolt where you know, we can see it supports 40 gigabit per second transfer speed and you can have daisy chain of up to 12 devices as it has dual ports uh, in the back I.O. of the motherboard. Now some other burner boards that you might not be too familiar with that has the technology, actually we have over here the, uh, the Z170X Gaming G1. It is also equipped with the Intel Alpine Ridge controller, so that means that it can be upgraded to uh, Thunderbolt. So through a quick BIOS update available from our website, you're able to actually unlock this technology on this motherboard. This is also available on the Z170X Gaming GT and uh, Z170X Gaming 7. Now, as for other devices that you'll be able to connect to your systems that are uh, you know, taking advantage of this technology, we have 
Uh, probably one of the most common is actually storage devices. So we have box much, much similar as to this one over here, where you will see uh, different storage types, so HDDs, uh, SSDs, M.2 uh, PCIe devices, or uh, even uh, uh, yeah, PCIe uh, SSDs as well. So all these can be hosting multiple uh, storage devices to increase your uh, storage space on your system. And they're using the fast bandwidth of Thunderbolt to connect to your system to, uh, to give you these benefits of you know, quick access to data and also a quick backup uh, solution. Uh, other devices that are available on the market, uh, you'll see also GPU dock station. So much similar to actually a device like this, but a bit bigger, you'll be able to fit one or two GPU card, uh, graphics card inside the device in uh, SLI or Crossfire configuration. And using Thunderbolt, the fast bandwidth of Thunderbolt through your system, you'll be able to benefit uh, for a, a faster frame per second and better graphics uh, uh, on your system, so through your games or uh, through your programs that are using are dependent on high graphics. Uh, different devices that you might see as well are USB 3.1 hub. So as the board offers only one or two uh, USB type C ports uh, and USB 3.1, uh, you might be able, you, you want to be able to benefit from more than that. So using Thunderbolt 3, which is 40 gigabit per second, you can have a, a bar of USB 3.1 ports that are connected using Thunderbolt 3 or system and where you can have you know, many devices next to your keyboard that are uh, easy to connect instead of having to reach back all the way down to your computer uh, to the, to, to the I.O. So a uh, bit of convenience there for connectivity. Uh, lastly, there's also uh, network devices that you might see on the market that are actually using Thunderbolt 3, which uh, f uh, some of them are uh, based on 10G based technology. So uh, fast networking connectivity between uh, devices, so for business this is actually quite a huge advantage for them where it actually doesn't need, they need to change all the cabling within their, their uh, infrastructure, uh, but they can benefit from very high transfer speed uh, on the network side. And for Gigabyte, uh, we also have some devices coming up in the future, uh, but un uh, unfortunately I cannot tell you about them right now, so you're going to have to actually check our next videos for, uh, for these announcements. So it's all fun and talk to actually uh, just introduce everything, but uh, we actually have some devices here that I uh, would like to introduce to you. So we have this one unit over here from uh, Akitio. It's, it is a Thunder, Thunderbolt 3 PCIe SSD device. So if you look in the back of the unit, it uses a dual uh, Thunderbolt 3 uh, connectivity. So we have the uh, two USB uh, Type-C ports over here with the lightning to recognize them as Thunderbolt 3, and also a video display, so display port, uh, the DP++. Uh, so that means it supports 4K and uh, 60 frame per sec at 60 frames per second. Uh, just to give you a quick look inside of how the device looks like, we have inside over here, we have the, uh, the PCIe SSD, which is an Intel uh, 750 series SSD. Uh, the advantage of this this SSD over here is actually it's using PCIe connectivity to, uh, to transfer the data. So uh, it's also based on NVMe technology, so non-volatile memory uh, express technology. So those, uh, those SSDs from uh, Intel are actually extremely fast when you compare them to uh, SATA SSDs, regular SATA SSDs, which are limited to 6 gigabit per second. Uh, and this one over here, particularly, is a 1.2 terabyte SSD. So we've run actually a few benchmarks for you guys. We actually had the system all plugged up, and uh, we transfer uh, a few files and ran some uh, benchmarks. So we actually ran Crystal Mark uh, as a benchmark, and we compared it to two different uh, units. So the first benchmark you're going to see over here is actually running on the on a on a SATA SSD. So as you can see, the sequential write is over to uh, 508 megabyte per second, where the read is actually up to 259. Uh, as for random uh, read and write, we have 138 and 224. Now let's compare that actually to the uh, device over here, where it's, which is using you know, a faster SSD, but not only that, also the uh, Thunderbolt 3 protocol to connect to the device. So that means that it's not limited at all by the connectivity uh, between the unit and the device. So running the uh, on a Thunderbolt 5, uh, on Thunderbolt UD5TH uh, motherboard with the AkiTO device, we have sequential read of 2,687 read and write of uh, 1,230 megabyte per second. 
and for the random we have up to 789 and uh, right of 725. So as you can see, it's uh, more than double than actually the speed of the uh, SATA SSD, uh, which is quite impressive. Now, this, uh, of course, is beneficial for you know, backup, so backup of your system. Uh, if you need to um, you know, store everything on your system on an external device, which is highly recommended, keep your data safe you know, from uh, if there's any pro problem with your system, uh, this can be done, done in a flash. You can also have access to all your data if there are you no know, if this is a primary storage, this can be accessed very quickly as well. So this is critical for uh, for games or no loading times. It's going to help a lot to actually load the whole da data database of the of the game, as well as you no know, software. If you have big projects working on you know big buildings, 3D models, uh, you need to have you know quick access to those files. This is going to be very beneficial beneficial for you guys. Um, so this is it. This is our introduction video of Thunderbolt 3 and some of the devices on the market available for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to learn some more, please subscribe and uh, see you then.